Now, dear student, we are going to discuss this question number 2.12, and in this question, it is given to you a charge of 8 milli coulomb is located at the origin. Calculate the work done in taking a small charge of minus 2 into 10 to the power minus 9 coulomb from a point P to a point Q via a point R. Clear? So now concentrate on a screen. So we can see. Let's suppose this is what Z axis. I am taking. Uh, let's suppose I am taking this as Z axis. Let's suppose this is Y axis, and let's suppose this is X axis. Now it is given in this question. A charge is located at an origin. So let's suppose here we have a charge, and this value is given to you at milli coulomb. Clear? It is located at origin. Calculate work done in taking a small charge from a point P. Point P is given to you here. This is zero comma zero comma three. Clear? So this is point P. Point P to a point Q. Point Q is given zero four zero. Clear? It is given to you via a point R. Clear? So let's suppose R is here. This point is R zero six nine. Clear? So from here. You can see actually we can draw like this. This point is let's suppose here. Clear? Now you can see the particle, or we can say uh, calculate work done as small charge. Let's suppose a small charge first going from here to here and then coming to this point. Clear? So this is the path that is given to you. Clear? Our objective here is to calculate total work done if we are bringing a small charge from P to Q. Clear? So, my dear student, if you know what is the concept of a potential, electric potential, and how can we define a numerically electric potential? Listen carefully. So, let's suppose here we have a point A. Let's suppose this is a point B. Clear? Let's suppose we are bringing any charge from B to Q, uh, B to A. Clear? If we are bringing any test charge from B to A, we can write potential like this. V A minus V B. This is equal to net work done from B to A divided by the test charge Q. Yes or no? So this concept we will utilize here. Clear? Now listen carefully. We are bringing any small charge from P to Q. Clear? P to Q. So we can write like this. Final we have V Q. Initial we have V P. Clear? Because we are bringing P to Q, so we write V Q minus V P, and we are bringing the small charge from P to Q and divided by small charge Q. Yes or no? So we have to calculate work done in taking a small charge. Clear? From uh, this is given to you. Clear? This is a value of Q. This one. Clear? So I am taking this is a Q naught because this is a test charge. Clear? Now, actually here we have one concept. The total work done it does not depends on a path. It depends only on the final and the initial position. Clear to you? So how can we write? We can write here W P Q. This should be equal to Q naught. This is V Q minus V P. Clear? Value of Q naught is given to you minus two into ten to the power minus nine coulomb. Value of potential at Q. Potential at Q due to this charge. It is given by. We can write K. Uh, we can say K Q by. R R is given to you better in uh, centimeter. Yes or no? So we can write like this because in centimeter we have so four into ten to the power minus two. Clear? Minus V P potential at point P. We can write like this K Q divided by this is three centimeter so three into ten to the power minus two. Clear? Just we have to do some calculation and we will get our answer. If we take here common ten to the power minus two, it will be cancelled out here. So two into ten to the power minus seven k. We can take k also common, clear? Or q also common. So nine into ten to the power nine value of q eight milli coulomb. So eight into ten to the power minus three. Now here we have left one by four minus one by three, clear? Now just we have to do some calculation and we will get total work done. Yes or no? Yes. So we can write work done from P to Q. This is given by nine multiplied two. We have, or you can write like this: minus two into nine into eight. Clear? Ten to the power minus seven. Ten to the power minus three minus ten. This is ten to the power minus one. Ten to the power minus one. Clear? Now, if we take here LCM, we can see this is twelve. Clear? We can say this is three minus four. Clear? So this is minus one by twelve. Clear? So we can see minus minus plus. 2 by 12 into 9 into 8 into 10 to the power minus 1. Clear? Yes or no? So we can write like this. This is 
we can say this is 2, this is 3 and this is 4. So from here we can say we are getting answer 1.2 joule. Clear? So total amount of work is to be done if we are bringing this charge from point P to Q, this is equal to 1.2 joule. Clear to everyone? Yes or no? 